All right, Ragnar, say hi to the to the people out there in YouTube land. <sighs> Are you going to lay down for me? Are you going to lay down? Okay, let's hope so. What's up, y'all? Sean here. I go by Taylor Exchange on YouTube, and yes, I did cut my hair. Now, the reason I cut my hair was, one, it took a lot of time to like fix in the morning. I had to completely wet it and then use the styling cream. And second, I was working out and doing jumping jacks, and it was bouncing up and down, and... I felt like ridiculous and I was just like, you know what, I've had enough with the, sh with the long hair, you know, I mean, it was fun while it lasted, but uh, I really enjoy the short hair. My wife cut it, it's not like a perfect fade, but you know, it was a free haircut and she does a wonderful job and I really appreciate her doing that. So this video I wanted to talk about uh, raising my dog Ragnar, he is a Labradoodle puppy and he is all puppy. I really thought I'd be able to, naively I thought. Let's just leave him in the in the eBay room while I'm doing photos and, and doing listings on the computer, and he'll just lay down quiet and, and chew his little toys, his rope and his stick, and his, you know, like, I thought all of it would be easy, but that was far from the truth. It's been, it's been hectic. I mean, as far as creating content, like, I got uh, my schedule. I actually wrote it down. I can't see a single thing. There's some of my writing here. Uh, I wake up with my wife at 6 o'clock. And the first thing we do is uh, we get Ragnar fed, we get him outside, he goes to the bathroom and does all that jazz. And usually I'm doing all this, and then my wife's getting ready for work as far as getting dressed, her coffee and her oatmeal and all that stuff. We kind of swap, and I let her watch him while I go ahead and do uh, shipping. I typically pull my items the night before, but in the morning I print all the labels. So I have these tubs here. I've got like the white tubs. That's for my old storage system, and what I would do is... I'll pick all the items, put them in that tub. Uh, usually it's about one or two tubs full of items, and then I bring them into the eBay room here. I print all my items with the, the Rolo printer here. Yeah, it, it doesn't take that much time. I've been doing this for a little while, and it's pretty quick. It really is. Then I haven't been eating breakfast, I'll be honest with you guys. I was eating oatmeal and having like a pretty solid breakfast, but I got tired of making it, and I realized that I can go to about lunch with just a coffee and maybe one energy drink or... I've been eating fruit in the morning, so I'll have like an apple or banana or an orange or a mixture of all three. And that usually gets me by until uh, lunchtime. Then at 7.30, check that. Yeah, around 7.30, uh, my wife leaves and I leave with my items to the post office. They open at 7.30. I like to get there before 8 because they also do passports at that location and the first appointment is at 8 o'clock. And if you get there at 8, you're usually going to wait about 10, 15 minutes for them to process the passport uh, customer. So I like to get there before all that. You know, then by the time I come back to the house, it's usually about 8.30. So at this time, Ragnar's been in the kennel for an hour. Typically, um, he'll sleep all the way till 10 a.m. Now, that's on, like, the most ideal situation. The worst case is at, like, 9 or 9.30, he starts, like, whining. And, and you know, I'll let him whimper and whine a little bit in the kennel. But if he's really whining and stuff, I don't want him to, like, have an accident in the kennel. Because dogs at um, you know three four months they just can't hold their bladder all that long. That's about an hour and a half of work if you're not talking the shipping. So that's eight thirty to ten. I usually try to get most of my photos done. Um, I try to photograph sixty items each day, and then towards the end of the night, Ragnar's eating a cardboard box right now. Stop. So this is all my plastic bags. And while we were talking, Ragnar did all this just like a rat would. Gosh, dude. So. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I thought maybe I could do a video to talk to you about how difficult it is to raise a puppy. If you want to raise him like the way I do is where I don't want to just lock him in his kennel all day and have him cry and, and, and complain and then let him out once at lunch. Like maybe I would get more work done. Yeah, yeah, I, I most definitely would get more work done. But um, I'm trying to just train him the best I can to like chill out. And if I would have caught him doing this, maybe I could have corrected him drawn his attention to his toy but I'm doing the video for you guys because uh, I just want to share like the difficulties you know uh, I was in a really good place before getting Ragnar as far as like the business flow I was able to get my drafts out to about 150 and even more and having that many items drafted means I have a lot of like vacation days set up where I can just uh, you know shut the shipping down and I can just launch my items and take days off uh, now I have zero items in my draft bank because this guy is just he's peeing now God, dude. All right, hang on a second. I swear, this is like the perfect example of why uh, YouTube is like completely out of the picture for me, uh, you know, in the meantime. And like, I really want to be one of those people that create content consistently and like 
um, you know, share the business and grow and show you guys what's going on. But man, he just kind of, he didn't like pee. It's just like a few dribbles. And it's because he knows he's not supposed to, but like, he just peed in here before I started the video, like a big, like kind of a big puddle. I don't know. I didn't see him. And now he just kind of tinkled a little bit. So I put him outside. Our backyard is fenced and, and everything, but it's kind of cold out. So like, I don't want to leave him out there too long, but like this stuff here, uh, shout carpet, oxy stain and odor remover. This has been like our best friend. It's almost gone. Um, and then obviously like bounty and I'm not sponsored by shout or bounty, but if you guys, um, if you guys need like pet cleaning stuff, this is it. So just a few squirts and a few sprays and that pretty much does it. Ah, so it's, it's so tough. It's so tough, but let's get back to the schedule. So if Ragnar sleeps till 10 AM, then, um, that's great. I can get most of my photos done. I can't get quite 60. I can get, I can get a pretty good amount. It only takes about two minutes per item to photograph, but then, you know, emails come in. Um, phone calls, uh, things that like deter my attention. I have to like address and then get back to the photos. But uh, I like to do all the tops or like, you know, 20 tops and 20 bottoms or just depending on what I want in my store that day. Next, for the next hour between 10 and 11, Ragnar is awake. When he is awake, it's 100% attention. If there's no attention, he chews up boxes. He, he'll like pee on the floor. He just, you know, he didn't really know what he's doing. He's just, he's trying to get in everything. He likes to bite the clothes, so I typically don't even have him in here. I, I shut the office down and make sure that I take him outside and I play fetch with him. I train him. We're working with the gentle leader and um, training him to walk next to me and trying to keep his brain stimulated and trying to tire him out at the same time, but uh, it's much harder than, than it sounds. So then at 11, usually he's starting to get drowsy. I'll put him in his kennel and he'll sleep until lunch, which is at 12 o'clock. So the next hour, 11 to 12, I try to get the rest of my photos done. So I like to have all my photos done before uh, lunchtime. And then from 12 to one, Ragnar's up again. Once he eats, he gets like a burst of energy and he's just up, ready to go. Then by one o'clock, I try to get him down in his kennel so he can sleep. From one to two, I work. Um, and then that's usually like any like, um, outside the box things that need to get done, whether it's like uh, something in my storage unit or if I do want to go to the thrift shop, like sometimes I go to the thrift shop at 10 a.m., but sometimes it's at 1, just depending on the day. And then um, usually Ragnar can sleep from 1 to 3, so I use the rest of the time to start listing. And then at 3 o'clock, Ragnar is up again, and it's just, it's crazy, man, because he's just, he just wants to play and he wants to do stuff, so I have to stop what I'm doing, like shut my work day off, uh, get going again and then uh, around like four you know he's up for about an hour and then sleeps for about an hour that's pretty much what happens I try to get some more work done and my wife gets home around 5 15 she works 9 to 5 5 15 to 5 30 when she comes home pretty much like she takes him and then I have about an hour to like finish up my work day so until like 6 30 and then at that time um, usually I take over watching him and he doesn't sleep as much in the evenings he eats at 6 p.m. so he eats at 6 a.m., 12, and then 6 p.m. And after he eats, he's ready to go. So I like to take him outside and play him. Uh, my wife like takes a shower, just kind of decompresses from work. And then we do dinner together. And then after dinner, I like to watch a show with my wife. And then um, I like to work out at night. Sometimes I work out in the middle of the day, like that four, like the time right before my wife comes home. Sometimes I work out right then. And then um, from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., I'm usually on the computer doing like listings, like pumping out the drafts. And I try to finish all the photos that I have taken and, and list them all so that I'm ahead for the next day. So uh, I totaled it up. It is one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Let's just call it like six hours during the day. And then it's another two from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. And that gets me to that eight hours of like concentrated work. But it's not that concentrated because sometimes Ragnar's up earlier than the hour nap. And, and um, it's it's tough. So. I've been working on Saturdays and Sundays. Some people are against working. They're like, I need the two full days off. And you know what? That's cool. I worked many years where I only had to work uh, five days a week, and then I would get the weekend off. What I've learned owning the own, my own business and, and working for myself is I don't mind working every day. Like, I really like what I do. I like going to source the items. I like, okay, I don't really like prepping or photographing, but I do kind of like listing the items because I'm like, 
Uh, it's like if you had a store and you're presenting everything the best you can, that's what I'm doing with like the, the photos and listing, mainly the, the listings because I want everything as accurate as possible. And I do not want cringe listings as some people have pointed out, but, um, they're, they're pretty fair listings. Like I sell, I sell a good amount of items. Uh, there has been a little bit of a lull. This is, I'm shooting this video the week after the Super Bowl. There's a little bit of a lull in sales for about four days because the, I think the, the winter update for eBay the Super Bowl, uh, the economy is kind of like crazy. And then there's like uh, a, f a reseller friend of mine was telling me that interest rates are going to go up or, and there's a little bit of like, like the market's kind of um, in like a standstill, like it's going down, but then it's like kind of like nervous on edge about how this, this next rollout's going to be. So maybe that's tied into other people and their, um, you know, their spending, but who knows? I've never really ran this full time for a whole year, but I'm getting to that point where um, this July it'll be a full year doing the, the clothing reselling as, as a full-timer and pretty excited about that. I got all my taxes in order. I believe I've sent all the information to the CPA that he has asked and I'm really anxious to see how that's going because I prepaid my taxes throughout the year in um, 2021 and it was a lot of money. I was pretty much doing 25% of the profits and sending it to the IRS every quarter and it was a lot of money. So hopefully he doesn't... Um, charge like a crazy amount and then at the same time it'd be it'd be cool to get money back but I really don't know uh, how far off I was with my estimations uh, this year the goal I would have liked to sell uh, $200,000 in, in sales but I'm only launching 30 items a day and based on my current traffic and, and everything it's about 14,000 in gross sales a month so that ends up being 168,000 in sales and that's you know it's not 200,000 and I'm not uh, profiting 50% it's it's more like 40% so that's like a decent amount of money, but it's not as much as I want. I'd like to make 10,000 profit a month, but to achieve that, I think I would have to do 50 listings a day. Uh, the difficulty with that would be sourcing enough items. I make one out of town trip to the Metroplex and I average about 150 to 200 items during that trip. And then um, I'd probably have to do two of those a week. I do source pretty well in town. I have some of the cheaper thrift stores in America, I believe. But there's only two thrift stores. There's one Goodwill and one faith-based uh, Mission Goodwill or Mission Thrift Store. And they price all their jeans at $3.99, which is excellent because they have cinch, area. I mean, you can get some really good jeans, some Levi's. But in the bigger city, those 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 prices uh, do not exist for jeans unless – even if they're like crappy brands like the Georges and the Kirklands of the world, they're still pricing those at like $5.99. So um, I definitely capitalize in my hometown whenever I see clothes, and I'm ready to capitalize for garage sales when it warms up. Uh, I just heard my wife come home, so I'm going to uh, talk to her for a bit. She's not done for the day, but I think she's taking like a later lunch. And I'm going to try to get some work done. I'm going to see how Ragnar's doing because he's been outside for a little bit. But, you know, if he's outside, he can't pee inside. So hopefully he gets the rest of his pee out and he's done for the day. Or done for like now as far as peeing inside the house. And, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna keep pressing on. I'm going to keep working uh, at night like I have been. I think Ragnar's getting better as far as like his maturity, but he's only four months old. So I think um, if I put in, and there's my wife now. Hey, Steph. He's outside. Oh, it's cold outside. I know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue working on the weekends. I'm going to continue training my dog. And I figure if I put in this eight to 12 months of like solid uh, training and getting my dog where I need to be, I'll have a really nice companion for the next 10 to 12 14 hopefully 14 years and he'll be able to like chill out and not uh bark at me or pee in the house or bite cardboard boxes so uh one day at a time i hope you guys enjoyed i hope everything um, is going well for you guys and your business and i'll see you guys next time bye